possibly they were playing Super Robot Wars Original Generations. This is actually a fan translated, and I'll put who translated it up here because I had that on my screen and I lost it. Um, but super grateful to them that this is a the PS2 version of the re, re, PS2 remake of the two original ones. So maybe I'll actually know what the hell's going on because I played Moon Dwellers and I was pretty lost in the story. So let's get this going with the original generation. The OG OG. And we got to pick... Okay, so I have some idea what's going on. We have the ATX team and the SRX team. Oh, wait, the SRX was that... It was like three machines that combined that one giant... Awesome machine. Ooh, okay, you know, we'll go, we'll go SRX then. I also get, gotta get back into import mode because this is um, definitely tricky. And I'm using this on a, it should be as high res as I can make it because I'm recording this at 1080p upscaled, so hopefully it looks good. And there's a couple of GBA ones we could do, but like, I think this would look better than doing the GBA version. I'm actually super excited to get back into it, and then since I played another one of these ones, I'm interested to see where the story goes. I might actually recognize characters. I have no clue. Don't know. No, no as in no, or no as in yes? Um... Merge in this time. What? It's like, you will become my puppet. There are those who have stepped forth from the forbidden land. They broke the barrier themselves. Now we can meddle freely with that planet. I'm assuming it's Earth. But we must act before the fool emperor and those inspectors do. It must be we, the Gozo. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that. Who hold the final trump card. Yeah, yeah. Carry out your mission, Alf Balsham. I think as I pronounce it, I shall observe from afar. I am not going to do voices for everybody because I cannot do that many voices, and I, it is like the other games, this has a lot of dialogue. Oh no, mecha bugs! Oh, crap, that's a lot of mecha bugs. Super Robot Wars OG Original Generations OG. Episode 1, Divine Wars. Yeah, I'm super excited to get back into it. I haven't played a Robot War game in a month. <gasps> Error common, new common error 179, sector outside Pluto orbit. I'm afraid to hit a button and skip this. This is a PS2 cutscene, I don't want to touch it anything. Hey! That sounds familiar. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, whoa, this is bad. Oh, God, this is bad. My controller is vibrating nonstop. Holy hell. Uh, let's see, upper, uh, number 19 to 2. This seems like Super Robot Wars OG. Uh, my controller is still vibrating. Damage report. Heavy damage to blocks 4 through 9, as well as the secondary bridge. First and second main cannons are inoperable. Damn. And the, oh, I cannot pronounce that. The Gigan Scudo? The end of my machines have it surrounded and pinned in place. Ah! Captain. They have our units thoroughly outmatched. This is just your treat. I would love to. Blast, how can we really do nothing to stop them? Those insectoid weapons of theirs and they're clearly built with technology more advanced than our own. So, they're alien. Well, yes, obviously. It seems likely. That, oh, that seems likely. And we're not just outgunned, but outnumbered as well. Plus, judging by their size and number, they oh, a mother, they may have a mothership or mobile fortress nearby. We're in grave danger. <sighs> There's some mankind finally takes his first steps outside the solar system. I don't disagree, Captain, but right now, we must retreat! If the hero sustains any more damage, we, oh, we may not make it back to Mars, let alone Earth. <sighs> we have no choice. Recover the Gaskan Scudo and withdraw from the sector at maximum combat speed. I won't soon forget this disgrace. My controller is still vibrating. 
Episode 1, Second Contact. I think this borked my controller. Like, it is... <laughs> it is still vibrating. Ooh, I know that one. Okay, once again, not doing all the voices, and I can talk that much. Okay, one second. I right, we're back here. I'm barely unplugging my controller to try to get this not vibrating and completely crash at RetroArch. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna suck it up and have it vibrate. Yes, begin monitoring. Thanks for that backstory. Beginning test. Wow, okay, that's actually pretty good scaling. <gasps> the test involves killing five monsters. Unidentified objects approaching the doll. Doll one, stay alert. It doesn't save space to breathe, thanks. Oh. Collision course. Oh no, you can't go to combat mode right from test mode? He's a madman. Hey, I've used this thing before. I should be able to. Oh, uh, there's no weapon. That's going to be bad. <laughs> okay. They seem confident enough. Let's go. Destroy all enemies. I die. Are. Ooh, if I didn't kill them all. That's gonna be rough because I don't have any guns. Uh, also, can I save? Yes, please. Uh, just in case uh, something else happens. Okay, wait, do you have any guns? How do I check you? Uh, status? I, once again, I have no idea how this thing works. I, I just picked up the game. This is basically using knowledge from playing other robot work games. We have homing missiles and AA guns. Okay, so we do need to move in. Because your guns are going to be very... You can't move, can you? You have a move of six, but I can't move you. Alright, well, let's just see how this goes. Enemy phase! It's gonna go poorly. Um, they have a 3% hit chance? Fine. Begin the combat! Uh, not the sound I thought these things would make, but sure. Well, damn. And they're not moving crap, okay. If we can't, uh, we're not gonna get that skill point if we can't get in close. We have 101, is that spirit? Uh, plus your movement, flash and bullseye, and hit and dodge chance plus, okay. Well, let's just go punch him to death. Very original. I'm sure it's fine. Let's just get one shot this guy. Close, there's a crit. Okay, that's circle still um uh, speeds it up. Hooray, and turn. Counter-attack! You shouldn't be able to hit us, but it's a Super Robot Wars game. That means nothing. I mean, I have no weapons. I can see your blades in your wrist. I know what those are. I can create twice in a row. Nice. Right, 11 and 1 PP. 
I can't do anything about that. How do I skip that? There it is. Ooh, they're actually moving into a to um, attack range. Okay, you know what? If that's the case, can we just do focus? Because we have 69. So then what's the 110? Our willpower. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so we do have that in this one. Okay. Um, basically, uh, in the translated ones I played, that's just that's morale, I assume. I mean, he's not gonna kill it. I guess how, you, how do you do this one with no weapons? I know I can turn the animations off, but I'm like, it's just better to not worry about it. It's not like we have soul or anything where we can buff our attack up. Okay, he one shot at that one. Um, are we close to level up? It would seem not. And this is the last turn. We picked Team SRX, and yet the first map does not involve them in any capacity. Also, my controller has been vibrating for like 10 minutes straight. It's really weird. Yeah, I know how this works. How, how are you supposed to do that one? I guess do this again close, but then they weren't moving either. I mean, some things are just like, I get how you do it. I just couldn't. This one's like, I don't get how you do this one. Do we get a second attack now? In the other games, you get like an extra turn if you kill somebody, but not even, this is not in this one. So yeah, I guess you just gotta fly in and get lucky. Cause they'd have to come to you to attack to be able to kill them. Because even if you get four turns, there's five of them. So one of them would have to close combat you on your turn like that. So another one. Oh no, a sixth one. Oh, I was gonna say punch the death, but sure, we're capturing's good. <laughs> it's like I want to be taken alive. It's greatest challenge yet to date. Now loading. <gasps> I recognize that machine. Browse available pies, we have none. Browse available units, we have none. Search for everything, we have none. What was the point of bringing me here? We got 9,000, we got 9,000 bucks though. That's a pretty quick round, let's go to the next one. Maybe we can crank out two this episode to get started. <gasps> the RX-1? It is the age known as the New Common Era. Nearly two centuries have passed since mankind began its advance into space. But the lives of its people have not seen significant change since the dawn of the 21st century. Damn it, that's where I live. The reason for this falls upon two meteors that collided with Earth in the old AD era. Resulting chaos and destruction temporarily halted the advance of all human civilization. This in turn led to the year NEC 179, in which a third meteorite, known as Meteor 3, original, fell on, is this be Adonis Island? The one in, who investigated Meteor 3, Dr. Bian Zaldak, declared it to be an artificially, oh, to be an artificially crafted object, though he could not ascertain who dropped on Earth and for what purpose. 
What gave him this conviction was the fact that Meteor 3 appeared out of nowhere in the L5 sector before falling to Earth. In addition, it was confirmed that to had decelerated before landing. Furthermore, upon its inspection by researchers, Meteor 3 was found to contain materials and technology that mankind had never seen before. This was termed Extra Over Technology, or EOT for short. The Terror Federation government, or TFG for short, formed the EOT Council out of its highest officials, who then appointed Dr. Bellin to the head of the EOITA organization, where the EOT research would continue under the strictest of secrecy. Soon the data was discovered regarding articulated mobile weapons over 10 meters tall, not to be utilized by what could only be intelligent extraterrestrial life forms, thus finding... This finding gave Dr. Bian strong suspicion towards its creators. Dr. Bian hypothesized that the intelligent extraterrestrial, intelligent extraterrestrial life forms offered humanity this technology for some unknown purpose included that they would most likely fulfill that purpose by invading Earth. He warned the Federation government that the TT and the TTF that the intelligent extraterrestrial life forms codenamed Arrogators posed a serious threat to humanity. Major General Norman Sly, viewing the situation with great concern, proposed the Earth Sphere Defense Plan, which led to the development of the humanoid mobile weapons known as personal troopers, cap weapons capable of fighting off the Arrogators. Did it! Oh, we're in Akihabara. Aww. I, I actually feel for you, man. Yeah, I felt like a pilot one in real life. Burning PT, huh? Yeah, Avery, get to play for free. Damn, that's a that's amazing. You know, I, I like I like how in this distant past they're like, yeah, the catch is you gotta give them your personal information. That's just crap. People just get hand out for free now. Like, you wanna play this game on your phone? Ah, uh, we just need some info. Ah, this is the last Starfighter situation. We're using that as a as a machine to find qualified pilots. And yes, I'm making a last Starfighter reference. If you haven't seen it, watch it. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry if that if there was a little noise on the capture there because like my controller once again has been vibrating for the last 20 minutes. It's probably not good for it. But if I unplug it, I know what's going to happen to to this capture, so I'm just going to deal with it. And maybe just turn off vibration in the menu. Uh oh. Just going to go to the hospital bed and kick your butt. <laughs> Knife and revolver. Oh, so this story started out with like as a basic Gundam build fighter. Episode 2, Personal Trooper. And we lose. Oh, 
I mean, that is fair. This is this isn't like the regional GameStop tournament. This is the Nationals. He's like, listen to the civil me the silver medal winner here, huh? He wasn't making excuses. You said a loss was a loss. It is. Reuse, uh, yeah, very, very clever. Ah, I came in second. I was going to quit playing anyway. We detected, we detected some techno babble from sample 55. Damn, the kidnapping of the pit on the hold. We got, we're being invaded. AGX zero ones. Are they mechanical monsters? Okay, so those are the, and they can fly. Well, I mean, they were in space and uh, jets. Oh, okay. At least it's, there are soldiers. Firing missiles. Missile's ineffective, sir. Uh, we shut it down, sir. Oh no, there's lots of casualties. Nope, we're on top of the convention center. Ah, we're going Gundam on this. Ooh, his own guestment Mark II. Orders to retreat? Well, I mean, I guess we did kind of blow up the convention center. All right, guys, withdraw. Convenient. This is the last Starfighter situation. I told you that. Oh, God. I'm getting beat worse than I did in the last round. Awesome. Alright, destroy all enemies within two turns. Damn. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to move forward then. Uh, okay, that is a high hit chance. Do we have. Sweet. I mean, yeah, there's more into it in the game, but the controls are the same, at least. I mean, if they all attack us, at least getting the guys in two turns is doable. Nice. And turn. Ah, 
I know that. I am doing my, my range attacks. Ah, oh, sweet. It's like, there couldn't possibly be a civilian in there. This isn't a Gundam situation at all. These guys are in trouble. Um, counter with, I guess, machine guns is the best we got. Oh, this guy's doomed. Take the hit for us, pal. Oh, God. Oh, God. A lot of bullets. A ah, decent amount of damage. Yeah, he's screwed. If that third one goes for, I'm gonna say if that third one goes for him. He was a hundred percent dead. This one's dead. Got a one in three chance. Come on. Oh, thank God. All right. Kill shot. Nice. Wow, 160. Well, I guess he he literally is an untrained civilian, so that makes mo the most sense. Player phase. Do I control you guys? I do. Uh, attack. Kill him. I mean, you can kill him in two turns at this rate. Nice. Uh, have you done level up yet? Uh, oh no, he did level three. Just is not telling us that. I was gonna say it's one of those games where you just get experience, but then you had to level up on your own. Oh yeah, he's all business. Dead. Wait. All right, man. You don't have enough morale to actually use your your gun. So use your other gun. Show them you can't be pushed around. Ah, we've seen this before. Hooray! Oh, plus five PP to all allied pilots? Whoa! That's actually good. Yes, clearly. Uh, okay, that's suspicious. Come with me if you want to see her alive again. The TFFR East Branch in Izu Base, which I'm not sure where that is on the map because my geography of Japan is not the best.
I'd imagine all military uh, gear is something civilians can't operate without clearance, but not this one especially. Uh, jail? Well, that sucks. Sign up or go to jail. Uh, release, release my friend and get my mother to a better hospital. I assumed it'd be something like that. Intermission? No. Well, she's taking this rather well. I wonder how much you could tell her. Could you just say that you jump with the military and they're going to cover your expenses? He's like, do I look like I have an entry permit? Yeah, smooth, that's the word. Also, you guys are like, we're in the military. I'm like, you don't just pick up civilians and throw them in a test piloting situation like this in the normal military outfit. Okay, that's what that's why it sounded familiar. Like, hmm. It's like uh, all the pieces are falling in place. I think he's the bad guy, but he's acting like the bad guy. Now loading. It's the intermission screen. It is! Pilot list. So, just, we just got where you say. Unit list. We just had the Gansman. Train! Okay, how's it work in this game? Okay, we have... 
Race stats, learn skills, race terrain, and they all have PP costs. How much PP do I have? Look, I didn't make it up. It's called PP. Okay, I have seven. All right, so there's that. We can upgrade units, which I'm assuming costs actual cash. 2,000, damn, all right. Yeah, I might upgrade mobility to arsenal. And we can upgrade the, the individual attack. See, I wish it was like the uh, the later games, which is probably what they fixed it, were upgrading the attack just upgrades all the stats of all the attacks, because dumping it all into one attack seems like putting all your eggs in one basket. Ooh, Teeth and Gripper. But before I do anything like that, oh, that's right, I forgot you can even switch out weapons in this game. I, for, I completely forgot that was a thing. And swap pilots. Parts, don't have any, don't have any. All right, data, save. Save complete, episode two. Ryusei with two kills, who's our highest kill count by de facto being our only pilot. Oh, he's got one skill point. Okay, uh, before we click, so potential support attack, counter, allows you to counter enemies before they attack. Okay, so unlike the other games, this is actually a percentage-based thing and the rate improves based on skill level, in fighter, melee weapons, gunfighter, hit and run, attacker, For 80, that's not bad. SP regen for, for 80. Once again, for 80 also, that's super good. Ooh, revenge counterattack deals that predict. Accuracy, so that's basically uh, perma focus. Uh, energy save, learner, when attacking as a subunit. Resolve, watch for five plus, plus my will. Morale up, yeah. Okay, assist killer, deal just the damage from your support attack, and EXP up. Okay, so all the skills that we have in the other games are here. They're just called different things, and they actually cost somewhat reasonable, because attacker basically costs four potentials. That was not the case in the other games. There's like 10 to 12. So it depends how much we get overall. Like, good, okay. So we started this one. We're two in. These also have less maps total. I think these are like range in the 30s, where the other ones range like the 50s and 60s. So we can probably get this one done pretty uh, a little quicker than the other ones too, but... I'm super down to keep going with this one. I said I would do another one, and I'm doing this one. Um, and then if people like this one enough, we can finish this one, and we can roll to OG2 and keep going from there. But until next time, thanks again for watching. Good lord, my controller's still vibrating. <laughs> thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys later.